Okay, today we're putting on an English saddle. Uh, pretty much the same process, English, Western, Australian, anything. You're gonna have a saddle, a pad, and a girth to hold it on. Uh, with the English saddles, because there's a lot more padding built into them than Western saddles, the, the actual pads you put on don't have to be very thick. This one is shaped just like the, the underside of an English saddle. We're gonna put this on first before we put the saddle. Uh, the way you know the top from the bottom, you can see the bottom is doesn't have anything sticking off of it, and the top has all these straps and thingies, doodads. So we're going to have that on the top, and then we're going to put the saddle on. So first, when we put this on, we're going to take the front of the pad in our left, back of the pad in our right, put it high on the horse, and slide it down into place. You want it right about there, just where it's kind of covering the withers and deep into this muscle right here. Next, I'll grab the saddle. The saddle here, I've got the girth kind of weaved into this uh, iron right here. That way the girth won't fall off because it's it's separate from the saddle. Um, when I put it on, again, the front of the saddle on my left, back to my right, lift it nice and high and put it down in the middle of that pad. I'm gonna come right underneath immediately and try to make sure everything's untwisted. This is slid back a little bit, so I'm gonna bring it back forward a little bit and slide it down again. Um, now it'll fall off if I go to get on. So I have to attach it using the girth. I have to start from the other side. So let's go to the other side. So once I get over to this side, uh, again, I wanna make sure that things aren't tucked underneath. Then I can grab the girth off. Again, the girth is separate from the saddle and you know, there are, there are, just like any piece of a saddle, there are a million different types. Uh, this is a very uh, simple English girth. One thing to note about it is it's two different sides. One side is right off the leather. The buckles are right off the leather. And the other side, there's an elastic in between the buckle and the leather. That elastic side is meant for the onside of the horse, the, the side that you mount from. So I'm going to start the off side. Uh, by putting this on, attaching this to the saddle, and then we'll go to the other side to finish it up. So, right here, there are a couple of things we can do to make sure the pad stays with the saddle as I'm putting the girth on. One thing is, some saddles have these front straps like this. You can take them, and you've got these three billets under here. You can take the front one, sometimes the front, whichever one it fits to, it reaches to. And you can slide that up underneath uh, so it kind of holds the pad from sliding back underneath it. Now I'm going to go to the girth. Again, I'm going to grab that side where it doesn't have elastic. And I'm going to attach it to two of these three. Right? But which two should I use? General rule, you want to use the first and the third. That keeps it right there in the middle. And then you've got an extra in case something breaks. Some horses you'll want to use the front two. Some horses you want to do the back two. With this horse today, I'm gonna to just use the, the first and the third. So there's another little strappy doodad here on the pad that I'm gonna go up underneath and that will kind of help again, keep that pad close to the saddle and the girth. Then I'm gonna put this down through, one hole and one hole. Now, sometimes you're just guessing how high to go on this side before you get to the other side. Just sort of, but that's okay. Basically, all I'm saying is, is it's okay to guess. Just take a wild guess, and then we'll go to the other side and see how it worked out. We might have to come back over and come up on this side, but like, like I said, that's okay. Let's go back over to the other side and finish this off. Once you're back here, we want to grab that girth and bring it up underneath. This is a time where you're going underneath the horse and into what can be a scary area. Just make sure you're close to your horse, you're touching him, you reach under quickly, grab it and bring it up. All right, you don't want a lollygag underneath the horse there, okay? Now, again, we've got the elastic side here. So the saddle has slid back a little bit, so we'll bring it high again. Now I'll start with the first side. Some of these have rollers that make it a little easier. This one doesn't. Um, but it's all pretty much the same. Once you get it through, you've got these strap and go underneath. Grab that first billet, put it through. 
then pull up, pull straight up in the air, find a hole to put that buckle in, and then let it down. Then I can do the second one. Again on the third, bring it up and attach it there. All right, so I've got first, third, extra. And now I can feel the tightness of my girth in here. And that's about it. We've gotten everything on. First put the pad on. We attach the pad to the saddle using straps. And look, I forgot one. So undo this one and try again. So we've attached the saddle to the pad using straps on the billet and also straps down here at the girth. We cut the elastic side on this side of the saddle. We've successfully put an English saddle on a horse. Now we're going to take the saddle off the horse. We're going to unsaddle the horse. With an English saddle, we've got these big swingy um, irons and uh, leathers here. So let's take care of these first, just so we don't smack anybody with them. So what I like to do is I'll bring the whole thing up, I'll grab the leather, and then I'll slide the iron up the lower one. Then I take this whole piece, put it down through, and I can take the excess if I want, put it down through, and then this won't come down very easily. Now some people will wrap it over and do more. I just don't do more. Maybe it's lazy, but I like, I think this works great, all right? So I'll do that on both sides. Slide it up, there it's in place. The reason why I do it on both sides before I undo the girth is um, once, if I, if I don't do it on this side and I undo the girth, then I've got to grab the, the saddle off with this thing hanging, danger can happen. So I'm gonna bring these up first, and then I'm gonna go back over to the other side and deal with the girth. Now, I'll do the girth. If I have a breast collar or a breast plate, I can do that, um, but I don't have one on this horse. So I'm gonna do this part. I'm gonna undo these, take these out, let this drop under their legs. Try not to swing it down and smack them in the legs with it. Then while I'm here, I can undo any of these straps I may have. Now I'll go to the other side. And I'll take the girth off. Again, taking it out of the straps, taking the straps from the pad off. Now I've got the girths free. If I just throw the girth up and over, I'll put it upside down so it can air out, um, this can slide off easily. So what I like to do is, again, I'll put it down through the iron, and that kind of holds on to it. Now, instead of grabbing it off this side, I'll go back to the other side and take it off. Now I'm back on this side. Now I can take that girth and put it down through. Now the girth really isn't going anywhere, and I can take everything off all at once, unsaddling my horse.